If your emulator feels heavy, laggy, or you're stuck with low FPS, don't worry. Today, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to make your emulator lighter, smoother, and more powerful, no matter which one you use. All right, let's begin. If you want your emulator to run lighter and smoother, just like the fast emulators you see others use, then follow every step carefully. This works on any version, Bluestacks, MSI App Player, or any other emulator you have. Now listen closely. First, open the emulator you're using at the top right corner. Click the three horizontal lines, and then open the settings. Here, we're going to make a few important changes. If you have a four core CPU, you can allocate all four cores, or just two, choose whatever is comfortable for your system. You can also allocate your RAM the same way. Next, set performance mode to high performance scroll down. Enable high frame rate. The display FPS during gameplay toggle is optional. You can turn it on or off. Now, drag the frame rate slider all the way to 90 FPS hit save changes, and restart the emulator. Once it restarts, open the settings again. Go to the display section, choose any preset you want, but I'm using a custom resolution. Click add custom resolution and set it to 1280 by 800. That's the resolution I personally prefer. It's clean, light, and stable. Now go to the graphics section for graphics renderer, select the recommended option. Under ASTC Textures, Beta, you can choose whichever option works for you. But if enabling hardware decoding shows red text, don't use it, disable it. Make sure GPU and use is turned on. Save your changes. Next, go to Gamepad Settings. Turn off both toggles and save. Now, open Preferences. Turn off the same toggles that I'm turning off on screen. Then, go to Device Profile. You can choose any device you want, but I'm using ROG Phone 2. Save your changes. Next, go to the Advanced tab. And for now, only for the debloat process, enable ADB debugging. We'll turn it off later. Save and restart the emulator again. After restarting, this is where the main work begins. Open Settings. Apps. You'll see a list of unnecessary apps. Uninstall the ones you don't use. Click Show System Apps to see even more services. Remove the ones you're sure are not needed. Be careful not to uninstall anything critical. Make sure ADB is still enabled. Now, install Limiter Optimizer. The link is in the description. Open it and you'll see the dashboard. Go to the Feature tab and click the Bluestacks card. If the toggle is off, enable it. Click Automatic Connection. Once it connects successfully, you'll see two options. Choose the emulator you're using, Bluestacks or MSE. I'm using MSI App Player 5, so I select MSI. Then, choose your Android version. I'm using Pi 64-bit, so I select that. Now your app list will load. From here, you can start debloating. Uninstall anything you don't need. Just be careful with critical apps. I'm speeding this part up, but you can take your time. After removing unnecessary apps, go back to the emulator settings. Scroll down to Accessibility, enable Large Mouse Pointer, and set Touch and Hold Delay to Short. That's it for this part. Now install Free Fire. Once it installs successfully, close the emulator completely. Next, open the Emulator Optimizer from the link in the description. You'll see the Mega Go Optimizer. Press 1, hit Enter, and let it run. It will optimize everything automatically. After it finishes, press enter again and exit the optimizer. Now launch MSI App Player again. Once it opens, start Free Fire. Log in with any account you want. I'm using a guest account here. When you're in the lobby, open the in-game settings. 
Go to the Display tab. Set Graphics to Smooth. Set High FPS to High. Turn off Unnecessary In-Match Options. After that, finally, restart your PC and enjoy smooth, stable performance inside your emulator. That's it. See you in the next video. Take care and keep optimizing.